It's adult hangout time. Yes, it's deeper experience. Hallelujah. Come prepare yourself, prepare your ears, prepare everything. We'll be talking like adults to ourselves by tomorrow. Now we're doing this moreover to make sure you don't go to the wrong places. That you come to the house of the Lord to learn more about love. Amen. Thank God for Brother Chris and all of those love quotations that he had there. I just saw this morning. It's so wonderful. Praise God. Come on, celebrate Brother Chris for that. Amen. And all our media people, thank you for blowing all of that. Thank you very much. Our page is actually experiencing a whole lot of visitation. I just looked at the last word you sent. We had over 700 or something people visited the page. Now, come on. Amen. You know, some of you, you don't see anything good if you're not the one. That's demonic. People are working. We need to thank God for them. Amen. Amen. Do you have your Bible with you? Turn with me to Matthew chapter 21, verse number 1. God is in this place and I know it. We thank God for mighty things God is doing and will do. Do anybody here have a testimony that God is good? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I bless the name of the Lord for granting my son, my third son, a fulfilled, successful matriculation Hallelujah. yesterday. Amen. Amen. God has been faithful. He has been faithful. Amen. Amen. He has been faithful. I pray that God will keep him, keep him focused. And, uh, amen. Amen. How many of you also know that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I think? Even if I ask of it, or even imagine it your God will surpass your imaginations Amen. how to do it is not a problem with our God is do you believe it you know it's easier to say believe I realize that when we believe in a moment in the process of working it out our own belief will show up and then that makes our first belief not being believing Amen our God is good. You see, you're not talking now. Our God is good. All the time. Amen. Matthew 21 from verse number 1. We read up to verse 7 this morning. Will you please stand at the reading of the word if you are seated? Mm. What a mighty God, mighty God we serve. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and we are come to Bethlehem, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples. Read the next one, everybody. Say unto them, Lord, into the hills, over and And if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord had need of them, and straightway he will send them. And the disciple went, saying, Okay, please go. Oh, tell ye the daughters of Zion, behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek 
and sitting upon an axe and I caught the fool of an axe. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. And brought the axe and the cords and put on them their clothes and they set him thereon. Father, we thank you for the integrity of your word. We thank you because your word is blessed. Let the blessedness of your word turn our lives around. Amen. Let everyone that will be listening, hearing the word of God, even our children, men, women, boys and girls, we ask that your word will have an impartation in their lives. We thank you for our social media church that our oh God will also touch them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Satan, you have no place in this place. Yes. We we'll rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you believe, let me hear your loudness. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Possessing your gates. We'll be looking at gates over and over again. But today, we'll be looking at possessing it. To possess. If you're fighting for something, it means there's something you have that belongs to you that either somebody is stopping or somebody has been sitting on. Amen. 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 To possess means to own. To possess means to own. Means ownership. It means it belongs to you. It means you have the right of ownership. I know the scripture we read may put some of us in kind of what wow, does this got to do now I don't know whether any one of us here have ever had ownership of something and somebody ever contend with it it can be so disturbing isn't it we have looked at the account Matthew chapter 21 from verse number 1 to 7 all of that uh, writers like Matthew call them the evangelists Matthew, Mark, Luke, John they also captured this same incident that happened amen but there was a way Mark particularly I looked at it and Mark put it let's look at Mark chapter 11 verse number 1 also to verse number 6 there are certain things Mark captured that uh, Mark, that uh, Matthew and Luke and John didn't capture. Let's look at what he said. He said, And when they came nigh to Jerusalem, unto Bethphage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he stand forth to of his disciples. And say unto them, Go your way into the village over against you. And as soon as ye entered into the into it, ye shall find a cart tied. Amen. Whereon never man sat, lose him and bring him. Praise God. He said, Do what? And if any man say, to you why do ye this say ye that the Lord had need of him and straightway he will send him hither. Um, they went their way and found the court tied by the door without a place huh? without a place 
without in a place where two ways do to did what that's a junction and they lose him why and a certain of them that stood there said unto them what do ye lose in the court so somebody was monitoring are we here yes, and they say unto them even as jesus had commanded them that is what i am looking for they say unto them what and they let them go for you to possess your possession this morning you must find the right word from the lord your word has no power to do anything your word is not obeyed by anything the bible said they did not say their word they did not try to change the word they did not try to water the down the world they didn't try to say it the way they felt they say it how as the lord had commanded them why the bible says that he sent forth his word and his word delivers so when you do not use the word you can have the results it is only the word of god even the angels fear the word the inanimate things hear the word stones and trees mountains they hear the word and they obey oh the other day when there was trouble when he was in the ship it was a surprising thing for the disciple to see that when he rose up from the sleep he spoke his word now before then the disciples have been saying a whole lot of things hey god help me this morning are you here this morning no you're not here are you here this morning the disciples has been saying so many things but the sea did not happen hey jehovah if there be any covering on anybody this morning let it be lifted in the name of jesus Christ. Amen. you power from hell i resist you in the name of jesus christ Amen. the bible say when jesus stood up and spoke to the wind as addressed the sea the bible say the sea had him the, the disciples who were watching said oh even the sea obey his voice today in the name that's above every other name jesus christ the son of the living god every situation that has defied your word today we hear the word of the lord Amen. every situation in your life that defied every other thing will obey at the word of god Amen. I say you will obey at the word of God. Amen. I say you will obey at the word of God. Amen. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. As I shout hallelujah somebody. Hallelujah. They didn't say their word. They say as he had commanded them. In your life and defile everything you are prayed you are fasted but has not succumbed there must be a power enforcing it today if you will cooperate with the holy spirit that thing will purge in the name of jesus Amen will purge in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, why? Because 
Why they ask? Jesus was about to enter into Jerusalem. It was prophetic. He needed to enter. The Bible said he needed to go into Jerusalem. That means it was part of destiny. Somebody say it's part of destiny. It's part of destiny. But what will take him into Jerusalem was tied by somebody. What the means that ought to take him to Jerusalem was tied. Who tied your destiny? In the days of Jesus, the cart and the ass, donkeys, horses were means of transportation. And that's the means to make you go close, go easier into places like you get a car. If you want to go to Lagos and want, if there's no car, there's no aeroplane, and you want to go to Lagos, how long will it take you, please, anybody? like forever right there by the time you will arrive Lagos as either you are old to use what you're going to look for oh. huh? or you have lost part of your body you are weighed out the Jews have needed to enter into Jerusalem that should carry him was tied by a man and a man was watching over it daily now the Bible said that this court had never been sat on by anybody is it possible that you own an ass and a court and you nobody would have sat on it even the owner it means it belongs to Jesus because if it do not belong to Jesus it would have a man to steal him did you hear what I said yes sir if it's not his he had no power to command them to go bring it Just command what does not belong to you to help you understand he would have commanded Peter give me your boat he pleaded with him are you with me up to this extent yes sir because it's not his so he was left for Peter to agree or not to agree but when it came to this means of entering into his destiny he said go when you go if an any man say ought <laughs> tell him the Lord have need of it it is not what you say if something belongs to you if I kept something under your care and someone else is coming to it and want to touch he said why are you talking he said the owner need it then you release it Oh, some of you sometimes that's what you say if I park this car here and left it under the care of the gate man who are you to come drive it for you to drive it you must mention that the owner have need of it the word the owner the Lord is the owner is the master Why was it tied? Jesus sent two of his disciples to go for it. Hi, I don't want to get too excited about this meeting. For you to get into, even though the gate has been opened, you need men. You need men. Oh, God help me. You need men. He said, Man, somebody is a man watching over it. He said, Man, I don't 
know what which of your life that been tied by people is it your marriage is it your finances is it your education is it your business that you would have achieved or went to that extent remember I told you it was in his destiny to go into it okay let me help you because some of you so that I get you out of what you're wondering turn with me to the book of Zachariah chapter 9 verse 9 because I remember just now it was Zachariah that prophesied about this do you know there's a prophecy over your life oh let me leave this with Lord help me I need to close this service do you know that the, what the devil is fighting is the prophecy over your life? Yes, sir. Keep looking at me. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. It is the word that the Lord has spoken in your life. It's a prophecy. That's what the devil is fighting. That's what somebody is tying down. Because somebody feels over their dead body will they see it happen. But they have come too late. Lord, change this people for me. I said they had come too late. Amen. They have come too late. Amen. They that beat their chest that your destiny will not come to fruition. They came rather too late. Amen. Because what is written, it is written. Yes, sir. Look at Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. He said, Rejoice greatly. Oh, daughters. Huh? That was what Mark was quoting. Mark lifted Zachariah chapter 9, verse 9. All right. He said, Shout, O daughters of Jerusalem, behold, thy king cometh to thee, unto thee. He is just having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass, and upon a cot, the fall of an ass. Listen. This is Old Testament talking about Jesus coming and how he will enter Jerusalem. And now, to fulfill this, pro this prophecy upon his life, somebody died the court. Lord, some of them I don't know what I'm saying here now. Say, yeah, but this is the Lord, the prophecy over his life. All places of life was at the junction. Brother, come. Maki daga daga daga. Yema ye dehi laga. Now, some of you didn't come to church. I didn't know when you come to this morning. I don't feel you at all. Maki lebra laka tasa laka. Li mele kape si kata. Whatever that was tied against your destiny. And break it this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brother, lift your hands and thank God. Thank you. Thank you for what God has done. Lift your hands, everybody. I don't I don't feel you when I, I know I know what I'm talking about. I don't know what it is. Hear me. This is Jesus. The God that will drive him to his destiny was tied and supervised by a man. That thing that is holding you, somebody consistently makes sure. release your marriage yes, sir. oh you didn't hear what I just yes, said sir. if you say marriage give me marriage you will not get it 
you must have the word yes, sir. that releases your marriage yes, sir. because the bible says he created the male and female, female. sir lord where is my male lord where is my female you see when you say eh, my husband no way you are calling another man's wife another woman's spouse a husband is a married man so when you are praying for a husband you are inviting married men into your life oh, you didn't hear what i just said you see you're saying the wrong word and that's why you the bible said life and death is in the power of the tongue and they that knows it oh jesus Christ, help me this morning help me this morning help me this morning if somebody is sitting on your business there's a word for your business the earth is of the lord and the fullness thereof men and they that dwells in it and he commanded them he said occupy until i come and the bible say and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies you didn't hear what i said there is a word if they are sitting on your delivery and your children that's a word for children children are the gift of god they are the gifts of God. They are the heritage of God. Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you pray and ask God for your wife, your wife, that's all right. Your wife, another man's spouse, is your partner. When you find her, it is your finding her that makes her a wife. Yes, sir. I hear what I'm saying. Yes, she prepare herself to be a wife. He that findeth a wife. So when you are looking for him and you discover that there is a wife in this person, that's why it's not who I may not see wife in you. I see a wife in this person. That does not make you are not a wife to another person. Yes, you are a wife to another person, yes, but not for me. But when I just want a wife, I may marry another person's wife. is fighting this message this morning ah, I want to give you time to liberate yourself what will carry Jesus to his destiny second service I'll continue what will carry him to his destiny was tied He need to call the destiny to come. He need to send for the destiny carrier. Jesus sent for his destiny carrier to be loosed. You know, most times we bind and bind and bind. And we do not know that we ought to lose certain things. Have you lost your marriage? Have you lost your job? Have you lost? I don't know. There's something you need to lose. Lift your hands, everybody. Say, Father. Every part of my destiny. Every part of my destiny. That is being tied by any man. That is being tied by any man. In any place. In any place. Oh my God, this is not the voice I'm looking for. Say, my father. Say, my father. Anybody tying my destiny. Wherever they are. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I command you to lose it. My marriage lose it. I said lose it. My job lose it. My job lose it. Open your mouth. I don't know which one is your own. Brother, come here. 
Brother, come here. Talk to God. Thank you. I command you to be loose. Whenever they died, my snake, whenever they died, my cell, my red house, I command you to be loose. In the mighty name of Jesus, whenever they died, my destiny, whenever they died, my advancement, I command you to be loose. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as the ass was loose, so shall you be loose this morning. The master has need of you. I have need of you. You my mega cells. You my mom. Wherever you have been tied. In the name that is above all the name. I command you to be loosed. You my business. You my business. You my appointment. You my advancement. Whosoever that is watching you. I command you to In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Church imagine Jesus. Was kept outside his destiny. Ah. Let me pray for you this morning. Yes, sir. Whoever has kept you outside your destiny. Blood of oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Now listen, church. Please, if you ever take me serious, take me serious this morning. I tried to cut sleep, I couldn't. Now listen. We are careless with words. We do not know how to think before we talk. And there are spirits supervising every word. Whether they are careless or whether they are jokes. Jesus was kept outside his destiny. They needed to go in. Why didn't he just walk in? Because what will bring all the glory that is needed for his destiny was that the axe will carry him. And that was why when the, he sat on the axe, there was no advertisement to invite people to come out, to come and witness him. As he was able to connect to the right step, every other thing aligned. The Bible said men and women came in their number. There was no place they announced Jesus is entering. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's when he sat on the axe. Everything came. Even the disciples who didn't know what it is for, they didn't sit on it, they put their clothes on top of it. There's something in life that is meant for you yes, sir. that no one can ever do without you. Amen. Whatever that is yours that has been denied of you, oh, I stand on this exalted order. If you Lord will agree with me, that wherever that it is this morning, Amen. we lose it to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So Jesus was incapacitated where he was until they asked him to him. Yes, sir by the helps of men. What you're looking for? Mm. By the help of men. Strangers. Known men. Mm. Unknown men. Amen. By the divine application. Yes, sir. I command that they will locate you. Amen. Amen. the star you are no man will stop you from shining amen today i release you amen, amen. from everything you are tied amen. amen you will fulfill your destiny amen i pray that the lord will bring you into the place amen that your destiny is written for. Amen. I release you. Amen. I release you. Amen. Your father's house will not hold you anymore. Amen. The struggle and the patterns of your father's house will not hold you anymore. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I bring you out of the status quo. Amen. I release 
to the fullness of your destiny. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Someone lift your hands up to yourself. Say, My Father. My Father. I believe your word. I believe your word. And you sent forth your word. And you sent forth your word. And your word deliver me. And your word delivered me. From today. From today. I declare. I declare. Wherever. Wherever. My destiny. My destiny. Helper. Helper. Wherever they are. Wherever they are. Whoever that need to untie what they have tied against me. Whoever that need to untie what they have tied against me. Father. Father. Use them this morning. Use them this morning. My God said, Father. Father, use them this morning. Use them this morning. Open your mouth and pray that prayer like you meant it. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Let me ask you, have you ever wondered sometimes? You are in the midst of the people, you are in need. But nobody recognizes your need. Yes, sir. And somebody just walked in. And his need or her need was okay. recognized. Yes, Meanwhile, you are still indeed in the place. And you'll be looking and the person's need will be solved. Is it not because people hate you? It's because there's something that is not letting people to reach out to you. Sometimes as a fan, when God showed me something, I said, but Lord, there are people who are here now. When, when did this end? By flesh and woman prevail. Amen. So that's a spiritual thing. See, I had to sit down and ask myself, how won't you help people? Meanwhile, there are people in your family that didn't need help. Come on now. Yes, sir. Maybe one of your brother has been, give me, give me. And you just went out and saw somebody. There's no ask you. And something just said to you, help. And then you went out of your way. Nobody preached you. You made a sacrifice. And sometimes after you have done it, you say, what did I do, sir? What did I do? If there be any satanic mark on anyone's face, Jesus. That repels people from assisting you. Lord of Jesus. That makes people not to give you unless you struggle. Lord of Jesus. Today, that mark by the blood is wiped out. Amen. I thought I would hear a thunderous amen here this morning. Amen. Lack of favor is the mark of struggle. Yes, sir. Jesus had men who went. When he said go, how did Jesus know that the ass was tied on that place? How? No, how did he know? How did Jesus know? Since he know, why not go take him? By the Spirit, he knew was specific he knew where his destiny is he was not playing around it is a destiny to enter into Jerusalem get to the junction that's where they did it by prophetic hey. insights hey. by prophetic insights not gesturing anything today amen may your eye open amen to where your destiny is tied amen it was because jesus knew where his destiny was tied that he said man i need to go off your way jesus knew otherwise it could be in bethany it could have go to bethany it could be in a buffet it could go to mount olives but he knew where it was in Jerusalem. 
Sometimes you want to be in America. Another day you want to be in Jamaica. Tomorrow you want to be a mechanic. Next tomorrow you want to be a teacher. You don't know. What you're looking for, money. You're not looking for destiny. Time will fail me to teach you there's difference between money and destiny. You can do anything to make money. But you will not fulfill destiny. Uh. But when you fulfill destiny, money will follow you. Sir. Can you see? As he was connected to his destiny, everything fell in place. In place. He didn't catch your man join him he didn't preach to anybody to say Hosanna he didn't say anything they because he is in his proposed life he is in the right place I pray for you before I go off your way hey. that you will locate your right place in the name of Jesus hey. before I came here I was making money big money but no peace I just knew there's something about me that isn't there. And when I look at my destiny, is connected to Omoaya. And people cry for me and say, Omoaya, not Abuja, not Port Harcourt. To live worry to Omoaya. It's like going down to punishment. But I knew that's where my destiny is. And I was bold enough to leave everything and go for my destiny. Now I declare to you, the boldness to pursue your destiny shall come upon you. Amen. The boldness to pursue your destiny shall come upon 